everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I go by The Hedonist Seller on all platforms which will be linked down below. I go by The Hedonist Seller because I do what I want and I make money doing it. And if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and usually Macari, not the time period I'm talking about. So in today's video, we are going to go over my July 1st through July 10th sales. I didn't get a what sold video for June up. I did record one, but I was just kind of all over the place and didn't think you guys would enjoy that footage, so I scrapped it. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about the first 10 days in July. So here on the screen, you can see my numbers for my reselling business in Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. You will notice some big, fat, zero eggs there in Macari. I did not make any sales the 1st through the 10th. I don't know why, but I was doing at least like 5 or 6 sales um, you know, every two weeks in Macari, and then it just died. I'm not really sure. This is why I always, like, stop selling on Macari and then come back later. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going with it. I will say Macari only has, like, 300 listings, maybe, and I, right now on Poshmark, have 1,600. So, <laughs> obviously, I just need to cross-list, um... I just haven't done it yet. So the format of this video, by the way, is going to be, I'm going to go over these numbers and then I'm going to go into individual sales um, showing you here on the screen. This is a new format for me. I normally just like talk about it and you're looking at me, um, but uh, this might be easier for me to edit. So I am going to try this out. So Poshmark. For the 1st through the 10th, I had a gross sales of $1,278. Um, and taking out shipping fees as well as Poshmark fees, um, I had a net sales of 1100 and well, 1000 that's not right, $1,014.62. I will say that that is not taking out my cost of goods or taxes, so that is not like money that I got to spend. It's just after any shipping discount and Poshmark fees. That is from 24 sales with an average sales price of $53.25. Um, I have gotten some comments that my average sales price is pretty high, and that is because if you have been following along or if you're new, um, I do liquidation as well as thrifting. So my liquidation lots fetch a higher price. They also cost more. Um, well, sometimes. Sometimes they're equal price to the... Um, to what I can thrift around here, but you know, so that's kind of why my average sales price has really risen over the the years, and it's because I do do liquidation. All right, moving on to eBay, I had one thousand two hundred and seventy two sales, and it, what? That's not the number of sales, Amanda. I'm, you know, see, this is all over place thing. <laughs> okay, so gross sales one thousand two hundred seventy two dollars and twenty two cents. For a net sales price of $936.82, that is taking out shipping and eBay sales. I do promote listings at 4%, so keep that in mind. Um, my number of sales was 16, so my average sales price was $79.51. I will go ahead and say that this is pretty cool to me that Poshmark and eBay um, sales-wise is pretty equal. Um, that's normally not the case. Poshmark is usually way higher, um, so I'm glad my eBay is picking up. I would really love for both of them to be high at the same time. Um, that'd be great. With like Macari, it's kind of like a side thing, although, as you see, Macari zero, 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 zero. Nothing on Macari for the first 10 days of July. Okay, so taking, um, total for Poshmark and eBay, my... Sales number was $2,550.22, um, taking out fee, um, platform fees as well as any shipping or shipping discounts. It was $1,951.44. I sold 40 things for an average sales price of $66.38. So I'm a lot. I'm you know these are not the best numbers I've ever had, but they're a lot better than June. Um, I didn't, like I said, post that video, but my June numbers were quite low. Um, that being that I was out of town for 10 days, and then my husband 
got COVID, and so I was a single mom for 10 more days, so I basically, you know, didn't really consistently work for the first 20, 21 days of June, so I'm glad these numbers are getting better. All right, so we're going to start with um, eBay, my actual sales. So right off the bat, you can see some of my liquidation sales. Um, right here, this brand, Selkie, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a brand that's, well, it's sold different places, but I had a Revolve um, order, like liquidation order. So this is, you know, from Revolve. This brand's really popular, <laughs> fun fact, with people who, you know, go to Disney a lot and have, like, Disney Instagrams. They wear these um, little princess dresses because, if you didn't know, at the parks, you're not allowed to dress like the characters because it confuses kids, so, unless it's Halloween. Um, so, yeah, people like to wear these and take their little pictures of the ears and post them on Instagram. <laughs> this dress did sell for $209.15. Um, after taking out, you know, the platform costs and everything, I had I made one hundred forty nine dollars and fourteen cents. Um, so this dress, <laughs> it's interesting. This is the third time I've sold this dress. I sold it once on eBay before, and someone returned it for a fit. I do offer returns uh, within thirty days on eBay, but the buyer pays shipping both ways, so I'm not really out any money. It's just kind of frustrating. And then also, I could have like probably sold the piece in the meantime. Um, and then it's sold again on Poshmark and a case is open because um, the, I guess the dye from the top of it had leaked onto the lining. There's a blue dot in the bust area so she opened up a case because I didn't disclose it because I didn't see it. It wasn't a lining so you couldn't even see it when you were wearing it. But because I didn't disclose it she did win so it got sent back. Um, so this third time's a charm hopefully <laughs> and this will stay sold. This right here, INC, I don't pick this brand up unless it's like an outstanding piece, which like never happened. Um, this was a bad liquidation order I made two years ago that just, you know, I ordered it. It was supposed to be all Bloomingdale's and it was all Macy's. Um, and the seller tried to tell me, you know, well, Bloomingdale, Macy's owns Bloomingdale's. I'm like, that doesn't matter. You said it was a Bloomingdale's order, which, you know, signifies a higher caliber of clothing so anyway I did open a case on PayPal and she ended up refunding me like half the box so but I still kept the items it's kind of slowly listing them not really excited about it I did end up sending a lot to thread up recently just because I was tired of them sitting there all right this next item is a K Unger dress and it was also liquidation K Unger is hit or miss but I knew this would do well because I mean just look at that dress look at that I mean what a perfect mother of the bride dress or something like that or if you're like a more modest person to a formal wedding or formal event one thing I will note here is I do use the keyword like mother of the bride and I watched somebody's video and they mentioned that you should also put mother of the groom which is really smart because yes they also <laughs> wear nice dresses um, I just have not done that before so I need to start doing that. That piece sold for $216, and after fees and everything, I made $173.53. So taking out that $7 cost of goods, that was a really good sell. All right, this was also liquidation. Um, kind of hate talking about liquidation, but you know, it's still good brands that you can pick up, even especially if your thrift stores don't have them, you can pick them up on, at consignment stores. So this is Ola Johnson. You know, most people know this is a good brand to pick up. Um, these jeans retailed for almost $500. Um, these came in that random palette that I accidentally won um, and, you know, got delivered when my husband had COVID. Next up, if you watched a recent haul of mine, you would recognize this dress. It is a vintage Eddie Bauer dress. And, you know, I really wish I had taken a close-up of the print and put that as a cover shot because it probably would have sold for higher. But basically, it's like a fall foliage dress and then has, you know, the names of the foliage on the side. It was really cute, vintage piece. Um, I could have probably waited until the fall and got more, but I'm really just trying to move some inventory because I have so much. But it sold for $46, $46 after everything, $37.73. 
CC, you know, I don't really pick up this brand. I'm um, at the thrift stores. This did come in that palette order, but you know, this brand does pretty well. I've gotten it in palettes and it sells pretty fast. So if you can keep your cost of goods low, you might consider picking up some of the pieces because I wouldn't have thought like a neon, you know, highlighter green shirt would do well, but it sold within a day. So that's pretty lucky. So this is a thrift store find. It is an Eddie Bauer Goose Down Puffer Vest. Um, you know, I could have probably waited and got more for this in the fall and winter, but same as the other Eddie Bauer piece, I just wanted to move it. So I did sell it for $41.44. That is with shipping, by the way. This total sales is with shipping. Um, that's why all of a sudden it like dips down to $24.43 down here after fees. Um, just so you guys know. So these next pieces, let me see, is it pretty much all of this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so everything else is a liquidation order. So none of this is from the thrift store. So I was going to talk a little bit about these pants. These uh, Norris Projects is the brand. And I got this through liquidation. I'd never heard of it before. It retails for a lot, but, you know, black crop pants their wool but wasn't that exciting I listed them hardly got any attention on them and then all of a sudden both pair um sold within a day of each other and one one just bought it outright <laughs> so and the other one sent me an offer and the, the offer was first and since I hadn't seen any movement on it I went ahead and accepted it but I guess I could have held out for more it was really strange because the person who sent the offer sent a message that was, you know, I'm going to have to send these overseas, so this is why the, the offer is the way it is, or as low as it is. I wanted to be like, okay, well, how is that my problem? <laughs> but, you know, sales had been slow, so I went ahead and accepted because I feel like it is true that once you accept an offer, you know, things might start to happen more, I mean, sales-wise. And then the next day, these other pair were purchased straight out, and they are going overseas. <laughs> so I'm like, are they the same? Like, did their friend they're going to send them to buy their own pair? <laughs> that would be pretty funny, um, although they are different sizes, so maybe not. All right, moving on to Poshmark. So right here is the start of my sales. These three or from liquidation. I, I will say it's not that I sell more liquidation per se. It's just that when I get a liquidation order in, I of course want to list all that stuff first because usually it is a higher cost of goods than my thrift store pickups. Now that palette I got didn't end up being that way, but you know, they generally are, so that's why I just want to go ahead and list them first. Um, so this brand right here, Everjay, is a really expensive swimsuit. Like just this top alone retailed for $89. Um, I got several of these uh, tops, all extra small, <laughs> which wasn't a very exciting thought because they're you know, just plain and black. They're just plain black, but you know I still listed all of them, and this one did sell. Um, these Bionics I got in the palette. They sold within a day. Bionic is usually a good pickup depending on condition and um, style. These Chico's um, pants I actually picked up because they were new with tags and a uh, good size. I picked them up at the thrift store, which usually I wouldn't pick up this type of pant, but I thought it would do well. And, you know, it sold in like a month or two, which is pretty good for Chico's. This right here, this free people thermal top came in a liquidation order. Um, I would have picked this up at the thrift store just because I think these thermals do pretty well. This was a new brand for me, this Fari London, or however you say it, Faray London. Um, you know, this was an interesting looking dress. <laughs> it's very uh, psychedelic, 70s looking dress. Um, you know, it sold. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really happy it's sold. I did have this on a mannequin, um, just because on a hanger, like, did not look like anything. Um, but, I mean, it did pretty well. I did a little below, but these are, like, red. So, this same one did 75 up here. Um, so, yeah. 
I probably, I don't, well, I would have picked it up in thrift store considering the price, but like, it's not something I would want over and over again in liquidation because that did take pretty long to sell. I think it's been listed since January. Right here, this is a pile of aloe leggings. I did get these at the thrift store. I do like to pick up aloe leggings um, if they're in good condition. And if they're the 7 8 or full length leggings, um, I don't really pick up croc leggings that often. This LeBlanca cover up, I've had this forever. Um, but it finally sold for $23. Um, I think one of the reasons being is it didn't have a size. Um, I just kind of had to guess at the size but it did finally sell this free people i'm pretty sure i got for my younger sister um so anyway i did get that and it sold within a month i would have i'm going to maybe pick this up from a thrift store because i do like the style these two were liquidation they sold really quickly especially this fry purse um you know this if you see this at a consignment store or you see it you know, a TJ Maxx or something, really look up the brand and what it, I mean, what the, they're pricing it for, but, you know, fry purses do really well. This is a new brand to me, Shauna Joy. This is a, sold on Revolve. This was a, um, uh, buy it now. They did not send me an offer. They just purchased it. So that was pretty cool. I was really excited that day <laughs> when that sold. This styled address, I think it's styled or stod. Um, I got several of this dress in different sizes. Um, and wasn't excited about it because generally when something comes in like the same print, the same dress, just different sizes, you think, well, this is not going to sell very well. It didn't do well in stores, but th I mean, these sold super fast and for a really good price. So, um, look your, keep your eye out for this brand. I did see this brand in a recent video by Ryan and, uh, and Jake here on, um, YouTube where they were talking about styled is uh, purses being a bolo for me the the dresses were as well <laughs> Torrid I love picking up Torrid this is my like big bread and butter brand I do pick it up if it's the you know black and white tag and it is a 1x or above I don't really pick up their larges or they even have mediums um and, you know, kind of depending on the style. This is like their standard, like, cinch sleeve blazer. I do pick those up. This is about the price they usually go for. Um, I can't remember if this was liquidation or not. It might have been. I really thought it would sell faster because it is a cute dress. And it's a 1X. Um, but I think it was kind of hard to see. This is before I got my plus size hangers. And as you can see, they kind of droop in the middle if you don't have the correct hangers just because the shoulder... Um, width is longer, so I really recommend if you do sell a lot of plus size clothing or larger size clothing, clothing that you do pick up plus size hangers. And I got mine off of um, Amazon. These were a combination. I got both of them in liquidation. I just added them together. Toward again, this one I'd had for a while. This is like a first sale of the day. That's why I accepted that offer. Um, I think this was the next day, and this is why I accepted this offer. Clea is probably not a brand I'm going to be really picking up anymore. It's not doing that well for me anymore like it used to. Wild Fable, this came in a liquidation, um, so this was actually a good price for what I paid for it. So I do believe this right here is the start of um, the, the July 11 sale. So I will go ahead and stop here. I mean, if that's incorrect, I can talk about you know, the next, those sales next time. Look, there's that style dress again. <laughs> um, so guys, let me know down below if you like this format, um, if it works for you. And also let me know how your sales are going. What, are you experiencing summer slowdown or are you doing well? I normally do pretty well in summer, but I've just not been consistent, which is just the killer of reselling if you're not consistent. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.